What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be going over some Gunting entries that I use in the Anastasia Kali curriculum. There are nine entries in total, and a lot of them are sectioned and they're progressive while using different techniques uh, throughout your empty hand entries. So, for those of you that are new to Filipino martial arts, Gunting is pretty much a scissor technique, which means there's two lines. One is a cutting line, and one is a feeding line. They're generally done together, and sometimes in empty hand, you break that rule. But I'm going to guide you guys through how these entries look and how they can turn into a progressive system of going from a standing position into a grappling position and then ultimately into a takedown. So number one is what we call the vertical gunting. This is entry number three out of the nine. So when you're working with a partner, you can work off a jab cross or you can work just with a cross. So for the video, just to make it very simple, we'll work with a cross. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this punch over my shoulder. So I'm going to twist a little bit like a slip. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I can almost parry it and avoid my face. This is my feeding line. This is my cutting line. So I'm going to use my open hand just for reference. And I'm going to shoot this up behind the elbow. And actually, I want to rake the elbow. And I want to go past my partner's face. Okay, so when I do that together, it's going to look as if I'm hitting it at the same time. And I almost just want to feed this to the shoulder and a little down so I can get that little knock on the elbow. Following that, I take that same hand, I'm going to come down and I'm going to rake the eyes or slap the eardrum. So off of this cross, when I raise my vertical good thing, I want to go past the face so that when I drag it down, I have space to create impact. So once I rake the eyes, at the same time, I'm loading up an uppercut with my left hand. I'm going to grab and secure this frame here. So this uppercut is just going to daze them, if anything. If their jaw is a little loose, I'm going to make them bite down on it. This isn't by any means a knockout strike. But once I get this position, I'm going to take my hand. Using bigger muscles, I'm going to step back so that I can break my partner's base. And by doing that, I'm going to bend that arm naturally. So with my hand straight here, I step back, I pull, I break that posture. From this frame, I'm going to reach over to the back of the head. And I want to create almost like a 90 degree with his arm. I want to subtract the strength of his shoulder and start to break his posture down. And then from here, I can turn this into what we call a scoop. Or from here, I can transition into different takedowns. So from the other side, I'm going to do the vertical good thing. And then I'm going to reach down across the eyes or slap the eardrum. Transition to the uppercut. Break the base. Create the frame. And the first takedown that I'm going to do is what we call a full circle throw. Can be done from here. There's obviously different variations, which I'll cover in another video. But if I just wanted to do this, I'm going to push his head down past my hip. And I'm also going to step 90 degrees to give some space. So when I have this position, I'm going to maintain the frame, push, and down my partner goes. Okay. You do that again. I'm going to go vertical, uppercut, break. I can go for the scoop, or from here, I go into the takedown. Okay, so that is what we call entry number three. That is our vertical good thing. Vertical because it's going up. Okay, entry number four, we progress to a horizontal good thing. So it's very similar, but it is going to be obviously on a different line. So we work off the cross again. This is my feeding line, same thing going over my right shoulder. My right hand is going to go. Palm open, or you can close your fingers and use your knuckles to rake the bicep. I like using my palm open so that I can take care of my partner a little more. If I want it to be a little bit more rude, I just go ahead and rake that really, really hard. Okay? So I'm going to be going horizontal, and my hand that just raked is going to come up top, and I'm going to look to clear this arm so I can eye jab across the face. Okay? So if I show you that on the other side, Offline just enough that I can reach over and eye jab here. Okay, once I get that, I'm gonna crash this arm down. Generally, if I crash this arm down pretty hard, my partner's gonna come down just enough. And I'm gonna lift them back up with my elbow into the face of the deltoid. Once I get here, I clamp the arm, frame against the neck, go for my knee. Okay, so part of, of having the what we call the Kali flow is being able to go from step by step with different techniques and ultimately piece your way together and break your partner or your opponent down. Now, 
right, right now what we're looking at and what we're doing is just going over the technique in a perfect scenario. One of the more important things which I'll cover in another video is going to be on how to apply this when there's aggression, when there's resistance. There's a lot of things you have to keep in mind, but of course, going through each entry, you want to make sure that you practice it as perfect as possible to have kind of like a generic template to look for. So in the event that there is resistance, that there is stress being placed upon you, you're going to be able to kind of find your way back to that guideline as best as possible. Okay, so the horizontal good thing, we rake over top left hand eye jabs. You're going to consume a little bit of space here, so your armpit should be right over your partner's elbow. You bring it down, you're coming up with your own elbow to the face of the deltoid. Lock it in, frame against the neck. You're going to bring them down by rotating their shoulder into a knee. Okay, and then from this knee, we have various takedowns again. We bring our partner to almost a very similar position throughout the nine entries. Okay, so this particular one that we're going to do, I'm going to have my partner flip on this side. It's going to be a variation of the full circle throw. Okay, so we call this full circle leg, and we pretty much replace that hand that's pushing the head to the ground with the back of my thigh. Okay, so I work through the entry. This is entry four. I jab. We start the Khalif low from here. Once I bring them low enough, because I don't want to reach too high with my leg, I'm going to bring it over to the back of the neck. I'm going to kick back as I rotate, and down my partner goes. Okay, so that one is a, is a little bit more fancy. I like using that particularly when I can break my partner's base and posture really, really low. And if it takes a little bit more strength to push and pull and get that partner to the ground or that opponent to the ground. So my leg is a lot heavier than my arms. It gives me a little bit of that weight advantage on my side. The final one that we're going to do is a, it's a very empty hand specific entry. And we call this the impact gun thing. So I normally only use this for the sake of empty hands. It's not really translatable the way entry three and entry four is with the blade. So when we look for impact gunting, we're looking to use the back of our fist to hit. We're not trying to cut through. We're still following kind of the principle of a feeding line and a striking line or a dissecting line. But as an impact format, it's not actually going to cut through either horizontal, vertical, whatever line. Okay, so let's flip one more time. Working off this time for entry number five, which is our impact lifting. This punch is coming a little bit more wide. It could be an untrained punch, it could be a haymaker, or a, a more common punch to the untrained. So that punch is coming a little bit more around. I'm going to monitor with my right hand, and I'm not trying to stop it. I'm going to use my left arm to kind of frame, and I'm going to use the back of my fist to hit the inside of the bicep. So when that punch is coming, I'm almost shielding, coming in a little closer, going in for the hit. And that momentary lapse is gonna allow me to enter. So from this position, my hand's gonna retreat just enough. I'm gonna shoot my hand through. I'm gonna elbow into the bicep one more time. Clamp on top, frame just like we did, into the knee. Okay, one more time, do entry five, which is the impact good thing. I'm on the inside of that hook. I shoot my left hand underneath, my right hand's on top, so that's an underhook, that's an overhook. I'm going to clamp and frame, end up in the same position. My final takedown is what we call walk the base. So before I drop this knee, I'm going to walk it behind their foot, almost like a 90 degree angle, and I'm just going to push. That's going to outbalance them. From here, I can sweep, disengage, strike, whatever it is you want to do. Okay, I'll show you guys from the other side a little bit faster this time. So that hook comes, impact, hit, shoot through, into the knee, walk the base here. Okay? So, when you decide to do these entries, you want to piece it together slowly. Make sure you find the small details in each little bit that makes the entry what it is. In reality, the entry is going to take you about maybe five, six seconds. And also, in reality, it may not look that good. But like I said before, you want to look for compliancy and perfection without resistance so that you have something to fall back on. It's very difficult to retain and learn and more importantly, grow off of your previous techniques or your previous knowledge if you're constantly just pressure testing it all the time. Anyways guys, that is your entry three, 
four, and five, your vertical gunting, your horizontal gunting, and your impact gunting. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you also subscribe. On AnastasioKhalid.com, you're going to be able to register very shortly for online memberships where I'm going to be posting videos on our weekly curriculum here at Union Martial Arts. That way you can train at home continuously with new content every single week. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow the links below to stay updated as well as pay attention to the posts I put on this channel. Until next time, catch you guys next time.